standing before my master. Worthy? This is a guardian hired by the sage, commanded to attack all who try to get past. So we have to fight to get through here? However, as I am the sage's apprentice, I need only to announce myself to get through. The sage's apprentice? Way to go, Rygar! Then hurry up and announce yourself! As you say. Odin, allow us to pass. Show me you are worthy of standing before my master. My name is Rygar. What? I know of no apprentice by that name. But how can that be? Hey, Rygar, that isn't right, is it? I have no idea. He's attacking! Those who seek to disturb my master shall be punished. Thank 
yourself. Uh, I thought that too. Don't tell me you were lying about being her apprentice. No, I really am her apprentice. 
Okay, okay, Rygar. No need to show off for us, okay? But I truly am. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Rygar. Wow. Apprentice of the Sage. That's amazing. You're cool, Rygar. <sighs> well, whatever. When we meet the Sage on the top level, then we'll find out. Sage? Who's there? It's been a long time. It's me, Rygar. Huh? Who? Me, Sage. Rygar. Huh? Who? Your most unworthy apprentice, Rygar. I have no apprentice by that name. What? <sighs> I'm telling you, I have no apprentice by that name! I... I... but... Get out of here! Y yes. Hey, Rygar just ran off. Wow. So that's the Sage. She's not how I imagined. You know what this is, don't you? Don't be bound by common sense. Remember? Right. You're right. Hey. She's lived here alone for so many years. I guess she's a little cracked. Probably. Hey. Who? Me? Who are you? Me? I'm the Blazing Enchanter, Burning Atsuma. The Blazing Enchanter Burning Atsuma? Correct. My name comes from the blazing passion with which I fry my foes. Eh, small fry, I'm sure. Disappear! Huh? I'm telling you to get out of my sight! There goes Atsuma, too. That's one scary sage. Hey. Huh? Yes? You two need to get out, too. Look. We do kind of need... Vamos! <laughs> Rygar, can you explain that? Uh, well... Just what was all that about? What do you mean? Are you really her apprentice? Yes, in theory. So why is she so angry? I really have no idea. She's your master, right? So? Do something about this. Kareem doesn't have much impact when she's angry, does she? She's almost... cute. I don't know about that, but she's certainly not scary. Rygar, you need to sort this out. At least get her to talk to us, okay? Okay? As you say. Sage, my master, it's Rygar again. I'm glad to see you looking so well. What's your excuse then? Master? Your excuse! For what, master? 
<sighs> For never contacting me after you left, and then quitting the nights. My apologies. And then, when you finally return, you bring that dangerous thing along with you. You noticed Atsuma's arm. <sighs> of course! What do you take me for? How could I ignore the presence of something so dangerous? My deepest apologies. <sighs> well, you're here now, I suppose. Bring them all in, then. Are you sure, Master? Just do it! Do it! Do it! Yes. So? Master? Fill me in. Then I shall explain all we have endured. I'm listening. I see, I see. So you're looking for a way to destroy the Queen of Ice and save this boy, Toya. That the gist of it? That is correct, Master. So, what you need from me is a way to save a human after it has merged. With a devil golem. Correct? Yes. You know how to save Toya? Tell us! Do you know the word, please, boy? If you know how to save Toya, please, could you tell us? If it's not too much trouble? Hmm, that's better. Nope, I have no idea. What? Look at you! The sage, the tower? You must know something! There is no possible way to separate a Magikor and a Devil Golem once they have fused together. Because they have the ability to regenerate. Regenerate? You got it, kid. No matter how much damage you inflict, they will regenerate in time. So, they can't be defeated. Their ability to regenerate is superior even to their excellent offensive capabilities. That's the reason the Golem War lasted so long. Is there a connection between their ability to regenerate and the Devil Magikor bond? I mean, if you would be so kind as to allow me to ask. Once the Magikor is fused with the Golem, it becomes part of its body. I see. So the Magikor also has the ability to regenerate. Correct. Even if you do manage to tear them apart, the Magikor will quickly be reabsorbed. So what can we do? There's no way to separate them for good? If you disable the regeneration process itself, then it is possible. And that would require the use of Atsuma's arm, right? Correct. The function of that arm, however, is to absorb. So using the arm will not only negate the bond between Devil Golem and Magikor, it will absorb ether from the target too. When something is drained of its ether, it stops. You mean... It dies. Ugh. A Golem can be supplied with fresh ether and work again, of course. But humans are not so conveniently made. So... So there's no way to save him? Nope. No way. If you want to put him out of his misery, use your arm. But... must I? Well, hearing all you've said, I may have an idea. An idea, Master? Let me explain. What? Uh, what's happening? Oh, it looks like today is the day for unwanted guests. Unwanted guests? I don't remember inviting them. Would you mind greeting them for me? What? What's going on? I don't know. Let's go outside. So we're outside. What now? What's with all this rumbling? <sighs> Atsuma, your arm is resonating. That means... She's coming here?
<laughs> Queen of Ice! And... Toya! We're here to extend you an invitation, actually. An invitation? Indeed. To our beautiful ice castle. We don't let just anyone in, you know. So, you should consider it an honor. An honor? Ha! As if! Oh, don't be like that. It's very rude to turn down an invitation. Isn't it, Toya? Atsuma, the guy with the sunglasses told you what I want, right? Yeah, he fed me some line, but I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> oh, but you should. I will become one with the Queen of Ice of my own free will. I don't want to stand among you worthless insects any longer. I've made my decision. I'll become the Queen of Ice's magic whore. Professor Ko told me that those rich in ancient blood can become magic whores. When I heard that, I literally shivered with delight. I knew I was a chosen one. Even then, Atsuma, I knew I was different from the sorry dropouts like you. Toya! You don't even know what you're saying! Of course I do. London City, Kyoto City, even Junk City. We are going to reduce them all to frozen wastelands. Just like Yokohama. What? If you want to stop us, then come on. Use that arm of yours. Uh, What's wrong, Atsuma? Too scared to move? No, but I can't kill you. What? Why not? I just can't. You're... you're Toya. I can't... I can't kill you. <laughs> oh, you are funny. Look at the position we're in. Look around. Yet still you cannot do it just because I'm Toya? Nonsense, Atsuma. You have an obligation to kill me. Toya? <laughs> Desperate you are, Toya. But you need not pay these children any further mind. Ugh. Calm down, Toya. Yes, my queen. Good boy. You're controlling him! Something else for you to find. Forget, Toya. Let's check the progress in your arm, shall we? Arise, my servant. Thank you. 
a top priority. Rage and oh. finish this. Ha! Huh. I guess good help is hard to find these days, isn't it? Ooh, you're coming along nicely. Enjoy it while you can, because you're next, Queenie. Indeed, I am. But we can't do it here. The scenery does not befit such an anticipated battle. No, let us set the stage at the Ice Castle. The castle lies in the frozen wastes far to the north. You and I have vital supporting roles, but that arm of yours is the star. Come ready to dance, child. Dance like you've never danced before. Toya! Atsuma, let's go back to the sage. Yeah! So the Devil Golem is gone? Yeah! Tell us, Master. What? You said earlier you had an idea. What was it? Oh, that. You, girl. Me? Yes. You were absorbed by the Emperor of Fire and then saved, right? Y yes I should have been absorbed by Atsuma's arm too, shouldn't I? But you weren't. Yeah, she wasn't. You said that was impossible. Shut it, boy! I need to concentrate! Sorry. I'm a girl, by the way. Listen to me. The reason this girl was saved from the Emperor of Fire is because there were two Magicors. Two Magicors? Because both the Broken Magicor and Lady Corrine herself were inside the Emperor. But how did that make a difference? This is only a theory, but... A disruptive reaction between two Magicors could cause a Devil Golem to reject the bond that would normally occur, obstructing any kind of fusion. I see. So that would have prevented Lady Kareem from becoming part of the Emperor. Thus, she was saved when he was absorbed. Correct. I see. I see. Hey, what now? Did you really understand all that? Of course. Well then, based on what we just said, how do you think Toya could be saved from the Queen of Ice? Okay, okay. We need someone to give the Queen of Ice a second magic core? Somehow? Well, you do have some semblance of a brain after all. That is exactly right. If you can get the original magic core into the Queen of Ice, Toya and that second magic core will react inside of her. This will produce a disruption in the normal merging process and the human inside the Devil Golem can be safely removed. Although, the separation may not last very long. So we'll need to be prepared. Correct. Well, what exactly do you intend to do once Toya and the Queen have been separated? Of course I'm gonna... I should absorb her with my arm while they're separated, right? Correct. If Toya is no longer connected to the Queen, then you don't need to hold back. Just absorb her and be done with it. And that... that will save Toya, right? All right! Fantastic! I can do it! I can save Toya! That's good news, Atsuma. I'm so happy. One thing, though... What? You... I hate to bring this up, but... Where is this second magic core? A Devil Golem and its magic core are always a pair, a set. Her original magic core must exist somewhere. So, where is it? Huh? Sage? Don't ask me. Not again. What? Uh... Here I am, so tolerantly explaining these things to you. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, just get out! Get out. Oh, I'm sorry!
That was a close one. She's one scary old lady. Anyway, that original Magicor. It'd be nice to just stumble across it, huh? Well, I guess that isn't gonna happen. You want a Magicor, do you? Whoa, whoa! You again? Why do you keep showing up like this, huh? I'm asking you if you want the Magicor. Uh, yeah. I do. I do. We might be able to save Toya with it. Save Toya? You still haven't given up on that? Why do you not just defeat him? I don't know. Maybe killing Toya is the best way, like everyone keeps telling me. I'm too stupid to try and explain how I feel about it. Just sounds... too simple, maybe. What if... when I do it, it brings misfortune to us all or something? Anyway, more than anything, I want to save Toya. Why? Is saving him worth risking the entire world? Is this compassion for Toya? Or are you trying to absolve your guilt over surviving Yokohama when others did not? Neither. I just want to save him. Giving up is too easy. Easier than breathing. The problem now is, where is the Queen of Ice's Magicor? I have it. Huh? But I'm undecided. Should I give it to you? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? If you really want to save Toya, then come to Gravekeep Home, the village up ahead. Gravekeep Home? I'll wait for you there. Farewell. Off he goes, same as ever. <sighs> I hope the sage has calmed down a bit. I'll go back up there and see. Oh, Atsuma, you're back. We were just discussing where the Queen of Ice's Magicor might be. Yeah! We haven't got very far yet, but it's probably somewhere near Yokohama City, don't you think? It was probably enshrined in an ancient structure like the university, perhaps. But Suma, do you have any ideas? Actually, I just found out where it is. What? How? That guy with the shades just showed up. I see. So we need to go to this Gravekeep home place, right? Yeah, I'm not sure he'll just... Hand it over, though. Master, do you know of Grave Keep Home? Of course I do. You can practically see it from here. You can get there from the teleportation device here in the tower. Then we should probably go right away. Before you do, Atsuma, is your objective set in your heart, I mean? Set? In my heart? Whether to kill Toya or to save him. Have you made your decision? My feelings are clear to me. It's just... I don't know whether it's the right choice or not. How could I know? I always end up hurting those around me. If I make another mistake... Gaia is about controlling your heart. Fury is the more difficult art to master. And with only half-baked resolve, you won't master either. I know. I know. Oh, my, my. You've grown into quite an indecisive individual, haven't you? You need to know more about your arm, I think. Why don't you go and have a little chat with it, okay? What? Talk with my arm? How? You'll see. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Uh, Atsuma! Hey, hey! What have you done to him? Ugh, fear not. I've simply sent him deep into his subconscious. His subconscious? What are you doing sending him there? Master, are you sure Ratsuma can handle this? Chill, chill! Ugh, you're also overprotective. Believe in him, why don't you? He needs to make this trip alone. I'm just forcing him to face the arm he's been coexisting with all this time. In terms of potential harm... Nothing can happen, correct? Well, not physically. But beings of harmful intent do lurk in that world. But Atsuma will come back safely. Stop with the questions! This is the dream world I always see. What does the sage hope to achieve by sending me here? That again? You're gonna have to pick one!
I'm intended for what? The whole world? Or a single life? Ugh. Hey, he's gone? Then I guess I'll leave too. But how? How do I get back from here? I always just kind of wake up. What was that? That wasn't my right arm. No way! Something's coming! There's something here. Some kind of material I haven't seen before. Okay, well, I'll take that too. Oh man, more! I suspected you might be under attack. Whoa, Sage, is that you? You are being attacked by those trapped here, consumed by their desire for power. I see. You seem unaffected, however. I guess a little simplicity can have its uses. Whoa. Still, you are in danger here. We're going back. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Whew. Looks like I made it back alive. Hey, you sent me there in the first place. Atsuma, you're safe. Fantastic. Good. Did you talk with your arm? Yeah. I don't really understand much of what it said, but the feeling I got from it was that it's trying to do something good for the world. Could resisting what the arm wants actually be a bad idea? Well, that's for you to decide. I... I still want to save Toya. Even if the world goes on. Without Toya, without my friends, I'm not sure I care. Only the young can achieve something for nothing. That power can change the world. I'm sorry? What I mean is, the old have to sacrifice to achieve. It's different for the young. Atsuma. What? You are doing the right thing. Huh? I guarantee it. <sighs> Why are you crying? I, I don't know. I... I just can't stop. <sighs> Your words... <sighs> they really touched me. I'm glad. Now tell me, did you find anything when you defeated that creature in your subconscious? Yeah, I did. It looks like a material of some kind. Aha! Uh -huh. That is known as a god orb. God orb? Wow! That's a treasure from the Golem War. Well, well, boy. You know your stuff. I'm a girl, okay? Female! Yeah, like he said, god orbs were created during the Golem War. They are a man-made metal enhanced with magic to fight devil golems. Atsuma. Allow me to make you a new weapon from it. A weapon? Yes. Magic forging is the sage's specialty. Isn't that right, Master? Indeed. It's been a while since I worked with a god orb. It will take some time to complete the work. Why don't you all rest? 